of Judges and number chapter 16, verse 4. <clears throat> we can start maybe from verse 1 so we build understanding. It's a scripture we all know. Amen. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in, in unto her. And it was told the Gazites, saying, Samson is come here. And they compassed him in and laid wait for him all night in the gates of the city and were quiet all the night, saying, in the morning when it is day, we shall kill him. Verse 3, and Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders and carried them up to the top of a hill that is before Hebron. Let's jump to verse 6. What does the Bible say? And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, <clears throat> and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. I would want us to go to verse 6 kindly. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great, give me an IV. So Delilah said to Samson, tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. I want you to hear that statement again. We all know the story of Samson, or do we have to explain the story of Samson and Delilah? We know it, Right? So it comes to a time when Samson be became, actually he was a bother. Not only even to, you know, these Gazazites or the, the enemies of Jews. So Samson had become a bother to the enemies and to you know, the competitors of, of the Jews at his day. And the Bible says that he was so much of a bother because he was a very strong man. And we all know the story of, of, of uh, Samson, that his strength was divine. Because from his birth, Manoah and the, and the wife were told never to shave this boy. We know that story. And the instruction that was given over the life of Samson was that upon his ordination, he was never to be shaved. Are we there? Amen. Just the same way you and I have an ordination over our lives. Tuna uteule juu ya maisha yetu. Kila mtu hapa ana uteule wake. Because I keep on saying this. In the book of Jeremiah, the Bible says that even you, before you are formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. This was the Lord telling Jeremiah. This is to mean you and I came from another womb. There's another place we came from. Because even before my mother and my father knew each other, the Lord knew me. He knew my destiny. He knew where he was taking me. He had written my story. Yeah. And in that story, it was written that a man that was called David, I'm giving, for example, my case, and a woman called Mary will meet, and behold, their sixth born will be called Grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that you did not just appear. There was a purpose and a reason for your coming. You came in with an ordination, meaning there is an assignment over your shoulders. Right. And this assignment is coming from the Lord, the creator, the great monarch of Zion. So this means if there is an assignment over your life, there is an ordination over you, which means then the Lord has an expectation over your existence. That's right. That's right. Are you there? Ni kumaanisha mama Jaki bwana ana matarajio na kuishi kwako. He expects to benefit or he expects a certain thing from you. Because some he gave. Have you read that scripture? To some he gave. So we have come in with the same order, being born of a woman, but we came with different ordinations. We have different assignments over our shoulders. And according to the ordination of Samson and the rules and regulations that he was supposed to follow is that he was not to shave his hair as long as he was to operate in that ordination of strength and power and might. 
Are you there? And the Bible says that Samson became a bother. And so they were trying to look of all strategies that you could have used to make this man bow or to make this man be defeated. And in verse 6, I think they detected the weakness of Samson. And as we talk about Samson, I want you to understand here that Samson was sent by God in his day. He was sent by God in his day to exercise or to be a post to showcase God's might and glory in his day. Amen. And the Bible says in verse 6, are you there? That a woman comes to him and says, tell me. Everybody, all of us, they are interested to know. Where is this strength coming from? The enemies want to know where this secret or where this power is coming from. They want to know where is the secret God. Because listen to me, child of God, even as we learn about Samson, Satan is just interested to know where your weakness is. Satan is just interested to he just wants to decode the button that if he press, amekukamata. Hataki kujua at how many scriptures you can quote. He doesn't want, Satan is not interested to know how many hours you can pray. Satan just wants to decode your weak point. Because he knows, once he knows what your weakest point is, then it is easy for him to strike. That's why Delilah is pleading with Samson. And he's saying, tell me please, show me. Because Satan and his armies know that the weakness of Samson is women. That's right. So if you bring guns, and I don't know what you bring, because we, have, we know the story of Samson, how he fought many armies with just a jaw. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you bring such to Samson, it will not work. If you bring many soldiers to Samson, it is just, uh, you will be defeated on arrival. So the strategy is to know where is this secret coming from. So Delilah is saying, where the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and be subdued. Amufichi, but they already know as long as Samson is in the laps of a woman. He's helpless. Even such a strong statement as how you can be tied up and be subdued. He will, he will overlook them as long as he's a, he's a woman or, who is on, on the laps. Hallelujah. What did I come to talk about this evening or what do I want to share? I want to talk about the power of discernment in relation with the spirit of Delilah. Hallelujah. And someone may think that this spirit of Delilah is not at work. It is at work at, until now. Even tomorrow it will be there. How to be, of, to be able to discern. And how you can be able to tell as a child of God. Because listen to me. Satan is not here to joke with us. He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. That is his agenda. He's not here to joke with us children of God. Akisha jua kwenu. The secret ama mwanya ulioko pale is that there is a history with drunkenness. He will press that button. He will surround you with people that love drinking. He will surround you with people that buy you alcohol. He will make sure that the tools that are needed to capture you are available around you. If your family, women never get married. If that is the loophole, if that is the, the weak point, Satan will surround you with women that have been kept by Mubabas out here. He will make sure the tools possible to subdue you are there. The systems to capture you. He will bring women that have 12 baby daddies, six children from different, uh, different mothers, and he will show you how beautiful it is. Because he knows where you are coming from. From your ancestors to your mother to where you are coming in. Marriages don't stand. So he will use that weak point and he will subdue. He will make sure he knows. Hallelujah. Are we there? So the spirit of Delilah, 
is a spirit that has been overlooked in our church, in churches today. But it is active now to the child of God. We have dealt with so many things. Oh, we scatter, we, but we have overlooked this story. You know, we sang it in Sunday school. And so we overlooked. And as a child of God, it's important for you to know that this spirit of Delilah is there even now. It can be upon your wife. It can be over your husband. It can be over your siblings. It can be over your brethren. And Satan can use this spirit to turn around a destiny of such a ministry. Satan can use this spirit to turn around a destiny of a great woman of God or a man of God here in our midst. Someone who has been ordained for greatness in her day, this spirit alone. So if we don't come to a place how we can be able to discern it, to know it, and to overcome and to override it, then our story cannot be exceptional from Samson. We cannot be different from Samson. Hallelujah. Yeah. We all know how Samson ended up. Did, 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 don't we know? Yes. Situ na jua Samson, alimalizia vipi? So even as we were praying, the Holy Ghost really pressed this matter in my heart to share about the whole matter of the spirit of Delilah. Can you tell your neighbor, spirit of Delilah? It is called the seductive spirit. Sasa kuna mtu anasema, mimi si jaona mwanaume yakini jaribu, we tulia uja jaribiwa. Because that spirit that tells you it is raining, how can you go to church when it's so cold? Cover yourself. It's never that serious. Church is here to stay. It will be there even tomorrow. Please, cover yourself. The spirit of Delilah, it makes you to feel that it is just okay for you to be a normal person. It makes you to feel that it's okay. It's never that serious. It's never that serious. Come on. It's just for a night. You will repent tomorrow after we have done it. Not knowing at that very moment when you are sleeping with that man or that woman. The anointing that you had accumulated for four years, it goes on the dream. Then when you come back at the altar and you're holding the microphone, even the Sunday school girl can hear you are light in the spirit. Something is wrong. So you start building the momentum again. Because in the class of the spirit, there is nothing like Jehovah overlooking. You repeat. In the school of the spirit, are you there? Yes. If you fail, there is nothing like saying, ah, God is faithful. Ni faithful lakini utarudia. He is forever faithful. You will repeat until the day you qualify. There is nothing like corruption in the realms of the spirit. There is nothing like let me go talk to the lecturer. There is nothing I know an uncle who knows an uncle who is the head of. There is nothing like that in the spirit. If you failed the test, you failed. Kwaivo, that day of practicals will come. The day of practicals, like the day of Samson, his day of practicals came. It did not matter the weight of the ordination that was in his shoulders. It, don't, it didn't matter the weight of the strength and the might that God has give, he had given him. When the day of his practicals came, it is proof he did what? He failed. Na siku yako, ya mutihani yako, ya practical. Inafanya nini? May the Lord find me well enabled to overcome that day of temptation. Because it comes to every child of God. Wewe kata kusema amen. But I know you will be called for an interview. And the boss will be interested with you. And the salary will be 150,000. The day of practicals now. Hey, kata hindi kusema amen wa dada. Tunawaona. That is the day you say, Ui, Pastor Levis, anateremuka. Unaona mushahara. The, the way he's killed is not balancing. Because at one point you are feeling, Ay, God is faithful. He's a loving father. He will understand. And as this spirit seduces you, you are convicted and you are convinced that compromising is okay. Then you give yourself to this man. Yes, you'll get a job. But guess what? Whatever it took you to get that job, you take the same thing to sustain it. So if it was 
witchcraft mulienda mkapuliziwa mkambua enda bosa kikuona tu unapewa you will be having to blow that thing anytime they want to shortlist people eh hallelujah are you there in the house of the lord is a seductive spirit it makes you to see that is okay wewe usijali kwani kukua na wababa wawili shida iko wapi Mungu anajua maisha ya watoto and then i don't know how these people who have that spirit kuna vile wanaongea anga ki spirit kingine mpaka una feel it's true eh kwani mimi nime survive budget aki babe mimi nime sishi hivyo ina robe and then unasema sawa jifanyeni kama hamjawahi kutana na hiyo kitu Hallelujah. Amen. Wa mama, eh mimi najua mtu waombea watu. Gai, watu wanaombea vitu zinafunguka. Bora tu umweke 1500 kwa bahasha na ufunge na uzia blue. In other words this woman is telling you do witchcraft. But the spirit of Delilah will not come direct to you and tell you it is witchcraft. It will make it look like is a church but is a church where you are packaging something and then they will give you instructions but because you are not an equipped child of god you say akini peleke alafu kikiumana you come oh man of god we need to stand no mi nilisema mtu akiniambia we need to stand no me have been standing you are the one who've not been standing hallelujah is somebody there in the house of the lord tell your neighbor it's called the delilah spirit and it is also in the house of the lord and i will show you how yes. have you ever seen someone who came into a, a new ministry like this one a local church and says i would like maybe to see your pastor the person who is at the gate or the usher if this person is under the spirit of delilah this person will determine if this person will come or this person will go mostly this is what they say wewe pastor wetu wa wanangu ina siku ya kwanza huku kuna mikakati you have already that spirit has already the aliamas in this person has already chased away that person or you see someone saying mimi naweza ingia praise team ya church unasikia praise team huko wezani huko kiongozi wao ni mbaya huwezi imba anazimianga mtu microphone is a delilah spirit its work is to make you see what you are saying is okay but i tell you you cannot do it you cannot make it the delilah spirit the agenda of this spirit is to move you away from your ordination sijui kama mnapata ni kukutenga mbali na u what can i call that na uteuzi wako hiyo hii roho ndio kazi yake you know we have talked about so so many we have fought so many we forgotten about this na ni spirit anajificha sana He's inside the most beautiful people you see. He's inside the most nicest men you will encounter. The Delilah spirit wants to show you what you are doing is useless. What you have is useless and is irrelevant. Yes. Roho hii inataka ikuonyeshe hiyo kuomba mnaomba sana sioni umuhimu. Hiyo kutumikia mnatumikia Mungu sana sioni umuhimu because satan knows that you are only strong at your place of ordination as long as you are standing at your place of ordination you can command the armies of the lord lakini kwa sababu shetani alikuweko kabla yako ana tuma mtu ambaye anajua akifinya tu let me tell you there are anointed women and i will use women that got married to men that had money they were all they were the men that they would have desired in their lives satan presented a tall dark and handsome guy a man that is driving a good subaru blue in color a man that has a good job and that woman never ever operated in her ordination again if she was a singer in church she cannot even explain what happens what happened she can no longer sing if she was prayerful she no longer prays because satan knew that the weakest point of this woman and where she is coming from is that they are materialistic so the button satan pressed is that button kwa sababu akishampa mali na mambo as long as anaenda shopping kwa mall amemsort hata waimbia mungu tena scott the delilah spirit it is a manipulative spirit 
it is very manipulative. It makes you to see. Don't come to church. It's okay. Kwani kanisa inaenda wapi? Yet you don't know that Sunday was your ordained day to receive an impartation over your destiny. Alafu unasema adikia. You even tell your, your, your husband, babe, ebu adikia message hatukuji. As if we, it is our destiny. I see those messages. Nasema Elohim. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Number one, how can you identify this demon? Are you interested to know? Yes. How can you identify it? Because again, as much as we need of discernment, it's good we learn. Because my people perished because of lack of. So there is power in knowledge. When you are taught, when you are equipped, when I'm equipped, it will also help me as much as I have discernment to be able to tell matters from afar. Hallelujah. One thing of this spirit is that it is attracted to glory. Anytime you go to an institution and to a working place, and I think this, my, mother, my father told me, my biological father guided me this when I finished form four. He told me, my daughter, are you there? He told me, my daughter, anytime you go to a place and you see a person that will receive you well, and with the greatest smile and in the greatest way, the first day, know that is the enemy of that place and know that is your enemy. Let me simplify. Have you ever gone to an institution, a working place? Everybody else is normal, but for this person, you will make it. Don't worry, you're welcome in this place. It's a good place. The first day, watch out for such people. They end up to be the Judases over your destiny. Even in such a setup, the person who tells you, I church, <laughs> the day they realize that you are growing in glory, they will be the first person to fight you. So my father told me, you, you are now a mature person, you are 18 years. As you go to the world, what wale wanakujanga wakwanza wakikukimbilia wakikuchekachekesha, how do you maadui number? Be careful of such people. And this is how the Dalila spirit is. It first makes you to feel comfortable so that you position yourself so that it can finish you well. Am I speaking in the house of the Lord? Yes. It is attracted to glory. Where things are shining, this is where this spirit is attracted. It is more interested, it is not interested with people that don't look like they are going anywhere. Kwa hivyo, kama wei you are not going anywhere, this is not your teaching. This teaching, the Stelaila spirit is interested with people that look they are going so, and I believe those people are here. Amen. No, your amen did not sound like it. I believe those people are here. Amen. So number one, the spirit of Delilah is attracted to glory. It wants to be where people are shining or where it seems to be happening. Mostly, this is where this spirit is most interested in. Praise be to the living God. Amen. Number two, I had said it, is that this spirit capitalizes on your weakness. I believe that is what the psychologists call uh, the narcissist spirit. Now, because we are spiritual, when we come to the other side, I think psychologists call it a narcissist. Have you heard of such a thing? These people will always capitalize on what you cannot do. Praise be to the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. They want to know exactly what you're not good in. How about people want to thrive most in? Praise be to the living God. Number three, this spirit of Delilah is a seducing spirit. Praise be to the living God. It's a seducing spirit. Its agenda is to bring you to a place where it can deceive you. So we have to be very careful as children of God. Ndiyo tutaomba, tutafunga, tutaomba neno, lakini kama huna macho. Ya kuweza kuona, tutaka matu watu. Nipe macho nione. Macho e eh, eh. Nipe macho nione. Sawa. Why do, you need, why do you think we need discernment? Do you know Paul preached with a diviner in her company, in his company, for some time without knowing? Hallelujah. 
It's a blinding spirit. It's a persistent spirit. Judges 16, 17. Go to verse 17. We see what Delilah is telling Samson here. He told her everything. No razor has ever been used on her head. He said, because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. Samson amesham wambia his consecration. Uh -huh. well, my, so if my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other. So now tell your neighbor, avoid talking too much about your problems and your strengths. Some of us, Satan captured us just because we talk too much. Have you ever met people in Namambia? Oh, long time, how are you? Aki, I'm fine. I'm telling you things are hard where I work. Guy, I'm telling you my HR, he's from Embu. And I'm telling you that HR, even people are saying he's a witch. And I tell you, that job I'm planning to, gosh, have I told you about my husband? Oh my God, where he works. Have you ever met such people? Yes. Avoid talking too much. Because Satan is after the information. He's after the information. There are people also like who to, like talking negative about themselves. If you don't say it, Satan will know it. Hallelujah. Amen. So what am I saying? If you won't, if you won't say it, Satan won't know it. So you better learn what to say, how to say it, say it and when, when to say it. So Samson is here. A mighty man that has an ordination over him from eternity and is telling a woman who is actually not of an, who is not a Nazarite and is saying that if you'd shave me, I'll just be a normal woman or a normal man. In other words, you hand over the weakest point over your life to the enemy. So, this spirit is a blinding spirit. And I want you to understand this child of God. From Judges number chapter 16, all the way to chapter 17 where we are, there, Delilah is trying to convince Samson to tell him where his weakest point is. So, this spirit is also very persistent. Niroho in shindilia mpaka ikukamate. And no wonder I, I say this. When it comes to matter to do with the spirit, there is no holiday. There is no off. There is no vacation in the spirit. At me, Pastina Sikia Kwanza Kutulia. Musinyandike Mahali Yo Maombezi, Munipe Time. There is nothing like vacation in the spirit. Satan is at war against the child of God 24 7. His agenda is to capture you, to kill, steal, and yeah, do you ati? Ah, uh, uh, where? Ejo demon. I don't know what they are. I'm not interested with the angels of darkness. A chaneni na John an arrest. A convocation muacheni. To kuteni wenye wanaomba. Which one is easy for them to capture? The one who is resting or the one who is at the place of prayer? Eh, na bono muna semanga. Aki pasi tu na jiomba two weeks tu. I feel like to rejuvenate. At that very moment when you are saying, oh, you are taking a breather, Satan came in and captured you. Because the Bible says, when people slept, Satan came and planted tears. Those are the Christians after two weeks when they come back. Unawapea microphone, unasikia, kakuka, kakakweda, kakarudi, Jehovah jire, Jehovah guy. They are waiting the spirit. It melted as they were giving their destinies, I don't know where. Hallelujah. Amen. And let me say this, accumulating bonga points in the spirit is not the same as losing bonga points in the spirit. Accumulating is more difficult than when to lose. You can accumulate an anointing for five years and lose it with one day. Right. You didn't hear that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just one night with a man, and because you said, Aki, mini tangalem, tuwe wangu wakifukuzi wafi. Aki, siwezi. 
Oh God, kwa dini mwanfea aje. John, umesema uko hotel what? That one night, those five years, you have sung with authority and anointing. Those five years, you've shaken the kingdom of darkness. They melted like a candle in one night. Because the downfall of Samson was in one night. It didn't matter how many years Samson had fought great armies with a jaw. It didn't matter how many years Samson dwelt in dominion and might and in power. That anointing went in one night. It was one night. Nisiku moja tu mimi kama Pastor Grace kujingiza kwa mambo. And that is all the years I have stayed in, in, the, in the presence. is gone. So child of God, don't say, at all we are in the dispensation of grace. Listen, listen. Christ said, I have carried the cross, but there is your cross also to do what? Yes, walisema, tetelestai, I have paid the price. But even that salvation that we say is free, it was not free. Because a child of God, his life was at stake because of this salvation. Mwana wa mungu alikufa kwa ajili ya wakobu hu tunasema ni bure. Kwa hivyo si bure, uligalimu maisha. Are you there? So what makes you think that it will be a walk in the park? At me in a Christ. Siwezi pata battles. Azizi ni pata. My friend, zita kupata. Because we are followers of Christ and he was fought. So we will be fought. He was betrayed. We will be betrayed. But listen, he said, many afflictions will come, but he will deliver us from them all. Hallelujah. So the spirit of Delilah is a blinding spirit. The other one, how many have I given you now? Hebrews number chapter 4 verse 12. Hebrews and number chapter 4 verse 12. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to ask ourselves, how can I deal with this spirit of Delilah? Nitaijuaji na nitaitambuaji na ata we mwenye labda ukonayo. You know, some, some people here are seated looking smart, but they carry 10 level, you know, degree of spirit of Delilah within them. Na wawa ato nito hawasemi yeme, na wasema, that cannot be me. Na labda ni wewe. <laughs> Hale. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. I will listen to you. You can hear me. 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 You can be within me. Yes, it's possible. It can also be within you. Is that You give yourself to the ministry and to the altar of prayer and praying for long in the Holy Ghost. Did you hear that? Kujipeana kwa uombezi, na siyo uombezi tu, wakuomba kwa masamengi in the spirit. What do I mean? For instance, if you pray, no, your normal prayers is 20 minutes. If you realize you are under this uh, spirit, you are under attack with this spirit, or you sense you have it, the only way you can overcome it, among many other ways that the Lord will show you, because every ordination is custom made, is tailor made. Mungu atakuelekeza ni kuomba kwa ndimi for long. Intensifying the fire in your secret place. That when you enter there, shali, tali, breso, set. You can sit, stay there for two hours. You stay there until the appetites of your carnal man are lifted. You stay there for long. Omba for long. And you realize, if you are, no, you are not a carrier of this spirit, you start discerning the people that have that spirit. It could be your siblings. That any time you come together as a family, there is always this one that brings an, an idea to make it impossible over what you are planning. Have you ever... <laughs> okay, fine, you don't have siblings. So maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. Have you ever sat, seen such people even in your working place? That any time you, there's an idea, there's always this person that stands and gives an idea that makes it to look impossible. So as you dwell more in prayer, as you dwell more in the secret place, giving yourself to the ministration of the Holy Ghost, 
na siku ya kelewa mikono atunaambua kujia sasa maji ya kunyunyuziwa utunanyunyuza please is labor in the place of prayer the more you dwell there the more you will start designing this spirit so hebrews and number chapter 4 verse 12 it says for the word of god is are you reading and active sharper than any double edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit. joints and marrow. It judges. So, number one, give yourself to the ministry of prayer and fast and uh, prayer and uh, uh, praying in the Holy Ghost for long. And number two, give yourself to the ministry of the word. The word. Knowing what is written. I usually say here, if you don't know what is written, Yani wengine hatujui ama si watu hapa. If you don't know what is written, you cannot control what is happening. Hallelujah. So what know what is written over your life, over that challenge, over that matter. Because you can only respond to the enemy with the word. Hallelujah. And he says that the word of God is alive and it is active over your life even now. Sharper than any edged sword. Kwa hivyo ikikuja kukata ina Kata vizuri na inakata sawa sawa. Inachomoa iyo roho. Hallelujah. And he says also that it is this spirit that uh, it divides joints and bone marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the Hapo penye mwanadamu hawezi ona na macho yake. Neno la mungu linaweza ku ona na ninaweza kutambua na kuelewa mioyo ya watu so if you're given to the power of the word of god inside of if it is the word that governs your spirit man through the power of the holy ghost so it becomes easy for you to be able to discern and to know a person that is a carrier of this spirit and i know what is written yes at least know a scripture jua neno at least, kuwa hata na neno, ten verses za warfare. Zenye unajua when the devil comes in as a flood, the spirit of the Lord, how do you think the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard? It's through his word and what is written over that situation. Haya, unajua tunasema, when the devil comes in as a flood, the spirit will raise, how will he raise a standard? If you don't know even a, a scripture. When Jesus was tempted by Satan in the wilderness, Jesus told Satan, it is written. So Jesus knew what is written over that situation that he was going through. But you know what Islanders we love? Islands, we love, I see. I see. Naona, mababu. Sasa mimi mababu zi wata. If I, how... Hallelujah. Amen. Tunataka kuonyeshwa naona kwenye mti wa avocado. Kwa upande huu kuna nyumba ya kuku. I left there a long time ago. I'm here in the city pursuing my destiny in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Give me the sword. Don't tell me about the enemy. Give me the sword. Wewe unataka nini adui ama silaha ya kuua adui? Lakini sisi tunapenda kuabua mambo ya adui. Naona umekamatwa. Ndio, lakini sasa nipe silaha ya kukuua huyu mwenye amekamata. Ama haje watu wa Mungu. Jesus. Bwana atusaidie Yesu atusaidie. Wewe pia tu unataka shetani ama silaha ya kumumaliza. Si ndio hiyo? Then why are we bother to go and see prophets from one place to another? Tukiambiwa atishikanisha chumvi na viazi mbili hivi. For who? Satan. Satan with salt and potatoes. It won't work. Sasa hata uki, utazikura kama chipo kama umekandamizwa on your knees. <laughs> yes. Because we are after to be told I see, I saw, I see. And what we are being told about is is about the enemy. What about the sword that will now slice him over your destiny and finish him? Because as long as you don't have the weapon to handle him, you will be told and be prophesied and remain the same. Do you know that 
Tunaomba. Tunaomba, but we are perishing because we don't know the knowledge, the weapon to use. Kwa sababu wewe uwezi enda kuwa mosquito na nuclear bomb. Hata wewe utarupuki hapo ndani. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. But again, you cannot take a knife. Atunaenda kudunga elephant unasema I kill you. I kill you. Inasikia tu ni kama kapini kanaingia ndani. So know which weapon and you can only know which weapon when you have been given the right knowledge and understanding of the word of God. Hallelujah. Like now we are telling you sometimes the enemy comes in form of the spirit of Delilah. This is how to discern him. This is how to overcome him. Hallelujah. Sababu spirit ya Delilah, you don't need to go and fast 40 days in Katoloni. Unamaliza majia wakamba huko bure. You just need to know this guy is under this spirit and this is how I... Do you know there are people who married wrong because of this spirit of Delilah? A guy came with you. Who was under this spirit? You even testify of how the enemy has captured your life. Uliingizwa box. Then halfway, you have three children, you realize, oh, he was not the one. Then you tell Pastor Le Grace, we know. Sasa mimi ata nikiomba, maa murikana mkona watoto wazatu. Sasa hapo ninakuabia more grace. Yes. If in the corporate you are not careful with the spirit of Delilah, you can hand over yourself to your, how do we call kufutwa kazi in English? Unaona ni gumu, kwa hivyo you can't blame me. You can be sucked, not or even excommunicated, not because you are not qualified, but because you ushered yourself to people that posed as Delilah's in form of angels. Because in the corporates, what will determine your rising is what you say about the company. Anyway, that's for the corporate. So that means even in such a church, you can be under the spirit of accusation based on what you say against the altar and the set man. Sasa hapo mujasema na hamujasikia, vile ni mesema. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So that was what was in my heart. I hope we've learned something.